All right, the mess that is the tomato bed. I think, well, one thing's for sure, they definitely need more space. This was square foot gardening, but wow, no thank you. Too close, too crowded. Rained once and now I have blight. There's no airflow in there. I staked them up, but my stakes are too short, and so now everything is bowing over. So longer stakes, more space. My peppers are all shaded because of these uh, ornamental dancing gourds. So for sure, next year, no ornamental gourds on this trellis. It will be something like uh, beans, maybe, something a little light lighter, something that hopefully won't shade everything so much. And I think what I might do then is uh, take out all this all the tomatoes or not replant them here and I think I'll just do peppers on this side and I've got my herbs and I'm probably going to cut back on the herbs because frankly some of these I don't even use it was kind of like a oh I have a spot let's cram something into it uh, so I think I'll stick with the perennials that are in here the chives the mint the uh, oregano and then um, for sure rosemary thyme and sage because I love those and dill but uh, I don't know if we'll do it here or if I'll just leave it in the pollinator garden and then this side of the trellis will be another smaller thing like I had the snap peas here and then these gourds from the other side took over so maybe snap peas again on that side um, that should take care of that bed I think with just peppers they're a little narrower um, and they they can grow quite tall but they don't turn into a giant bush like this mess of tomatoes here so I think that's what's gonna happen here next year